Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another versus video. Today, I've got Mr. Ice Cold himself here, and he's going to be attempting the impossible. Can he 1v5 five plats? Now, I know it sounds very difficult, but some of you may have already noticed at the very top of the screen here, you will see that Ice Cold is actually starting 3-0. So, all he has to do to win this game is win a single round. This whole video could be over in the next two minutes. But place your bets in the comments. Do you think he's going to be able to pull it off? If it gets to OT, it might not be possible at that point. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking, subscribe down below, turn notifications on, check out Ice Cold with the links in the description. It would mean a lot to him if you guys were to subscribe to him. It would mean a lot to me as well. And if you guys have not already checked out the Siege Black Ice Collector's Kit that G Fuel just released, feel free to check that out with the link in the description. Use code SHOCK. Get up to 20% off your order. Or if you just want to get something else, use code SHOCK. Get 30% off. The links are all down below in the description. But with all that being said, let's get into our first round here on Border. All right, Ice Cold just sitting inside of office right now, playing things slow as he should. We're going to see Renoids running up on the CC balcony here. Trying to push in through that armory door. Going to go ahead and air jab it that way. Ice Cold will not be able to hop out. Ice Cold realizing no one's going to be pushing. The east side is going to rotate over towards the armory balk. And that's exactly where Renoids is pushing. He's actually just going to walk in off this lion scan here. And he's pushing in. And... Oh, Ice Cold is actually going to be able to get that kill. And a wall bang is going to finish off the kill and actually do almost half of M's HP here. She's going to be put to basically one HP. And that's another kill for Ice Cold. But you can see he wants to get out of here. Looking at the hatch, you can tell he wanted to drop, but boxed in with nowhere to go. Ice Cold is going to fall on our first round. A wall bang from M is going to take him out. Going down with two kills, though. Ice Cold using Solus's gadget to the best of his ability here, trying to take out as many attacking drones as he can, which is definitely smart. The more drones that Ice Cold can take out here, the less information that these plot players are going to have. Only two drones going to be taken out, though, so not that much of an impact, although a third being taken out there. Ice Cold choosing to go to the customs bomb site, but will it be any different now? Pretty similar lineup from what we saw on the last round here. We see Jay probably going to try to open up this detention wall, and that is exactly what he is doing. See how Ice Cold responds to that. So far, he does not seem to care. Trying to defend this front door push. You can see that Jackal and Renoids here are just outside. And never mind, as I say that, M is going to get the kill onto Ice Cold for the second round in a row here. And Ice Cold now only has one round here of match point left before we go to OT. It is not looking good so far. Alrighty, only a couple seconds left. And before po potentially the last round of this game starts here, if Ice Cold can pull it off, timestamp this down below in the comments and let me know if you guys think if ice cold can pull this off or not or if you think the plats are going to take it to ot here looks like we have a quick rush here potentially coming out from rise who's already on this window ash rush coming in from detention here but ice cold gonna get his first kill of the round onto renoid so that's yana being taken out but he's got to be careful as jay is already in the building he rushed in through detention rise is desperately trying to hop in through this teller's window and that's Exactly what we might see him do here just in a second. Sounds like Callie is just outside of Passport right now. Trying to get an angle onto Ice Cold. But he's all the way inside of Workshop. So he'll be safe from that for now. Although Jay is closing in inside of Customs now. Josh, another kill to his name. That's going to be Rise in the Teller's window going down. And looks like Jay is coming in to swing. But Ice Cold's going to win that as well. And here comes Callie finally pushing in from passport but it, is she going to be able to get the kill onto ice cold i'm not sure ems does have the bomb she could plant right now but instead going for the swing which is risky ice cold has a pretty good angle here M now realizing she has the bomb going to go ahead take some cover and plants Callie just trying to cover 
Definitely not a good position for Ice Cold, but he's going to make the best of it and take out M's. But, wow. Callie all the way inside of waiting. Going to take Ice Cold out with a great little flick shot onto him. Great round from the Platts there. And unfortunate round from Ice Cold. He definitely tried his best. He killed four out of the five. Let's see if attacking is going to be any different for Ice Cold. Just because he lost his oath or his match point advantage does not mean he lost the game. He could still win the next two rounds, etc. So let's not count him out just yet. And let's hop in to our first OT round. All right, here we go. Ice Cold's first round on attack. Choosing to go Zofia, definitely not a bad option for a 1v5. You're going to have either two claymores or three breach charges depending on what you pick as well as those two stuns and those two breaching rounds which we're going to see him use right there to just get straight into east stairs and you can already tell there's a lot of people trying to swing and wow m three rounds <laughs> three rounds in a row being able to take out ice cold incredible honestly i'm at a loss for words at what's even happening right now all right so it looks like for this next round josh is going to choose to go for Dokubi instead, which is an interesting choice. I'm curious to see if it's going to work for him or not. It looks like that is just an ill-advised jump out there from Jay, and he's going to get punished for that. And Renoid's actually going to take quite a significant amount of damage as well. And it looks like Bazi also wants to try and swing and get a kill for himself here as well. Ice Cold just sitting outside the front door trying to bait some kills, which is pretty much his best bet here in a 1v5 scenario everybody on the other team wants to get that one kill so everybody's just trying to swing ice cold gonna throw some flashbangs to cover his retreat if a doke could be called and looks like it's gonna try to push over towards the site window potentially yep trying to get some wall bang kills through the site window here and actually almost hitting renoids through the wall if it wasn't for this reinforcement he was sitting on definitely could have gotten the kill there Mozzie swinging in from supply, but Ice Cold able to get the kill there. Great shots by him. Valkam going to get taken out. And Valk herself looking to get taken out as she swings wide on the site door here. Arunigate going to get shot back up. Flashbangs come out from Ice Cold. Not going to even flash anybody, though. Able to take out that Arunigate once more. But he's going to have to be careful of Ryze, who's quick peeking the door here. Both players are quick peeking, just trying to kill one another, but so far nothing much is happening of it. Renoid's holding an angle here inside of sight. This is a tricky angle because he can see towards outside this front door. Yep, just like this. So Josh definitely has to be careful how he approaches this. Rai's taking a little bit too much damage. Looks like he's going to be done peeking for now, but only a minute left. And pushing into detention, but it doesn't matter. Renoids able to get the kill onto Ice Cold, and he tried his best. But regardless, the five plats proved to just be too much for him to handle, and Ice Cold is going to go down. But we're going to have another map here, so long as everybody has time. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys enjoyed map one, consider liking, subscribe, turn notifications on, and make sure you guys are following Ice Cold. The links in the description. But let's try to get a map two going here. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. So, what's some post game thoughts? I should have won that one in uh, in Talliers. That would have been nuts. Yeah, you were pretty close two different times. Yeah. Like you killed yeah. four of them one of the rounds. Yeah, that was the Talliers round. But like, wow, it's just so much harder because you have to like either bait or you have to swing for picks. Yep. That's, That's it. what I was it saying in my recording. I was like, basically, his best bet is to sit here and just hope everybody swings him. Wow. It's just so hard. And these guys are EU too. And it doesn't help with the fuck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are for map number two. Ice Cold has told me he feels a lot more confident here on Oregon. So that's what we are going to do. And it looks like I messed up the map order or the round order. So Ice Cold is going to be on attack instead of defense. Let's see if he's fine with that. All right, so he's cool with it. So Ice Cold's going to be starting on attack. That is kind of my fault. He did choose. Uh, initially to start on defense, but he's saying that it's fine to start on attack. So with that being said, we will get straight into map number two. Ice Cold kind of throwing his drone in a little bit aggressively, in my opinion here, as uh, it looks like he's just going to get it destroyed instantly. And he only has two of them, and he's not playing Iana. 
So that is a little bit worrisome. This captain going to be a problem. We did do map or operator bans on the last map, but I guess nobody banned this map. So captain is going to be in play as well as Ella. That's going to be a big problem as well. With all of that said, though, Ice Cold going to spawn outside by the street spawn. Going to be playing Finca. Not a bad operator for this whatsoever. Going to be able to heal himself up if needed. Looks like most of the plat players are playing pretty tame here so far. Ice Cold is worried about a couple spawn peaks. That master door was hit open. But it looks like everyone is playing pretty passively for the most part here. So it looks like we're just going to be kind of waiting for Ice Cold to reveal his position. All right, Ice Cold taking map control fairly quickly. With two minutes still left on the clock when he repelled in. Here comes a C4 from Renoids. That's going to miss and he blows himself up with it. What are we even thinking? Renoids going to take himself out, giving Ice Cold a late Christmas present. Rise trying to C4 from underneath right now, but that's surely going to miss. But here comes another Nitro from Bandit. That's going to miss as well. As well, three C4s down. All of the C4s, actually, for the defense. One of them blowing themselves up, and the other two just doing nothing with it. So, not a great use of utility, you could say. Capkin and Bandit roaming below right now, just trying to hold things down, it seems. And Ice Cold still inside of Armory, playing pretty passive. He does have a 1v3 on site, which doesn't sound that good. But considering the 1v5 he's in, it may be his best bet to take site and... Perfect opportunity for Ice Cold to secure that kill there onto the bandit. Now, we're going to see Ryze just stuck inside of Garage. But in my opinion, it's a mistake to push that. And Ice Cold knows so. He's going to flash just to stun and delay Ryze. But he's going to go ahead and push towards top white now. And this is great because most, or actually both of the other players were looking towards Trophy. But M is going to rotate back. She has been so powerful in stopping Ice Cold in the previous game. Will she be able to do it again? Quick peeks come out. Ice Cold trying to back off a little bit. He does have another boost and he's going to use that. Here comes the swing. Shots go off. Ella's going to go down. There's another one inside of games though. That's going to be Rise boosted up on top of the games table. And he's going to take out Ice Cold with ease through those head holes on top white. The first round, surprisingly close. Surprisingly close. You got to keep in mind that came down to a 1v2. So that's that's pretty that's pretty reasonable. All right, round number two here, and the defenders, the plat players, are going to be playing downstairs. With that being said, we do see M and Rise roaming, but in the meantime, Ice Cold's going to be trying to push in through bunker to the best of his abilities. Though you're going to see Jay try to stop him, and already shooting one of his Flores drones down and pre-placing a smoke grenade on this double door. So it's definitely going to be. Very difficult for Ice Cold to take Bunker. I don't know if this is where I would push if I was him. Usually it takes a full team to clear Bunker. And Ice Cold's trying to do it on his own. So wish him the best of luck here, guys. Fortunately for him, M and Rise are off site right now. And Thunderbird is going to swing and make a big mistake there that Ice Cold can capitalize on. Doing some circles here to make sure his drone goes a little bit faster. And towards that shield, he will go. That's going to force Smoke to rotate off of the Bunker Shield. And wow, Ice Cold is attempting to do the impossible here. He's clearing Bunker solo right now with Flores. Trying to get any utility off the Bunker door. That way he's able to push in unobstructed. And remember, there are some smoke grenades that were above that door. I'm not sure if Jay has them there or not still. M finally pushing back down into sight. Rise as well. Ice Cold still just trying to use the rest of his utility here. M going to be pushing up to this door. And wow, that's really bad timing for Ice Cold. Another flashbang comes out. But M already pre-firing it is going to take him out. And once again, a great try from Ice Cold. But just couldn't quite clutch it out. All right, round number six is underway. And this is also Ice Cold's last round of uh, match point, basically, before we go to OT, if he is to lose this. Now, with that said, if you guys have made it this far into the video, I would hope that you guys have been enjoying it so far. So consider liking, subscribe if you guys are new. And wow, Renoid's posting that 
in the comments right there g fuel make sure you guys check out g fuel with the link in the description use code shock get 30 percent off and really quickly i think there's someone in freezer flanking ice cold as we speak which this could be disastrous if ice cold goes to the drone or anything yep as i say it he's gonna get taken out rise all the way downstairs in ice cold's defense ladies and gentlemen i would not be suspecting anybody to be in freezer myself so i don't know just do do what you will with that information lion scans are coming out from rise and it looks like we're gonna see a rush round considering we have a dokubi and amaru akali and the lion here ice cold doing the best that he can but another lion scan coming out that's gonna be a kill onto the iana or the uh Callie, I apologize. The Iana clone tripping me up there. Iana herself going to get down by some captain traps, and Amaru's going to walk straight into the crosshair placement of Ice Cold. Now, uh, Rise is trying to push in through the big window here. M going to die on the big window, and here comes Ice Cold trying to win the round, but he just can't do it. Rise is going to win it. Oh no. Ice Cold was one bullet away from winning one of these rounds. That was by far his best attempt yet, I believe. All right, Ice Cold is potentially on his last round here. He really needs to win this. A lot of the plat players are pushing outside of front door here. Renoid's already trying to push into trophy slash mass right now. Some drones going ahead of him. Ice Cold needs to be wary as he's just close to where that nade just popped off. And a Dokubi call from M is going to go off and reveal his location there i thought that iana clone was iana uh herself a c4 gonna go out from ice cold but that's gonna miss one kill from ice cold going for two but m oh my goodness the amount of times m has killed josh throughout this video is absurd somebody give me a kill count for m down in the comments i would appreciate it but that's gonna be ggs ice cold is not going to be able to clutch out the 1v5 verse 5 plats if you guys have any video suggestions leave them down in the comments thank you so much to all these plat players for coming out and playing if you guys would like to be a part of these videos then feel free to check out my discord server with the link in the description it's completely free for you guys to join anyways thank you so much for watching and have a great day